In this video we're going to create a curved helix along a path using a surface sweep as well as a normal sweep. The first thing we'll need is our path. And I'll just go ahead and draw this up using the spline tool. And then I'm going to create a sketch normal to this on the right plane and just draw in a straight line. And I'll just give this a dimension of 3 inches. And then I'm going to come into the surfaces and choose the swept surface option. Choose this line as the profile and the spline as the path. And then we're just going to use the twist along path option define this by turns and choose out any number of turns. Depending on the shape, because we're using a spline here, the more turns we have, the more closely this is going to represent a normal helix. If I go back to just a few turns, Depending on the shape, this might not be exactly the same curve at the outside as it is towards the middle. But in this spline, it looks generally fine. So I'm going to keep this as 12. Click OK. And then we can use either part of this surface by sweeping a profile through this and converting over those edges, or we can simply just use the outside edge as our path. So with that outside edge selected, I'm going to choose a 3D sketch and convert entities. And then I can click into the sweep and hide it out. I'll go ahead and create a plane by selecting the helix and this point for a normal plane and then I'll create a sketch of a circle at this point and then we can sweep that sketch out and then click OK. And there we have a profile swept around a curved helix that follows a path. And you could use this for things like creating a cell phone wire. I have another part open in which I create a toroidal shape and this just requires a circle and a path, or rather a straight line is the profile, and the same procedure. 